All right, so here's the second example we're going to look at uh, graphing piecewise functions. Uh, if you didn't look, see the first example, check it out. All right, so here we have f of x equals x plus 5 if x is less than 1, and we have f of x equals 2 minus 3x if x is greater than or equal to 1. All right, so it's it's pretty easy to graph these things. Basically, what you're doing is graphing f of x equals x plus 5 and f of x equals 2 minus 3x on the same coordinate system. That's all you're doing. The, on, the only difference is when you graph this one, when you make your table out and choose your x values to plug in to get your y values, the only difference, you can only choose x values less than 1 for this one. And for this one, you can only choose x values greater than or equal to 1. So Let's just graph this one first. So let's graph the uh, f of x is equal to x plus 5. And so let's make a table here. All right. So I'm going to choose 1, 0, negative 1. Okay. Now, I know I just did what I said not to do. I chose the 1 here. And the 1 is not included in this range okay but we choose it anyway and I'll show you why when we graph it okay so the 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 thing that you do when you choose these values okay when you choose the values for each function you want to choose these values here for each one even though this one is not included here, we still choose it. Okay, and I'll show you what happens when we when we start to graph it. All right. So now, let's go ahead and plug each one of these in for x. So when I plug the one in, I get one plus five is six. Plug in the zero. Zero plus five is five. Plug the negative 1 in. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Okay. So there's my xy coordinates. All right. Now let's graph the other one. Let's graph f of x equals 2 minus 3x. And let's make an xy table. So I'm going to choose 1. And then the x values that I choose have to be greater than 1. So I'll choose 2 and 3. Okay. All right. So now let's plug them in. So let's plug the 1 in. So 2 minus 3 times 1. Well, that's 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And then plug the 2 in. 2 minus 3 times 2. Well, that's 2 minus 6 is negative 4. And then plug the 3 in. So 2 minus 3 times 3. Well, that's 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Okay. So there's my xy coordinates. All right. So now let's graph this thing. So when I go to graph it, let's go ahead and graph this one first where the 1's included. So I've got the point 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 4, so 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, negative 7, so 3, so that was negative 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's the point 3, negative 7. And then there's my line. Now remember, this, this line here is not going to keep going like this because once we get to the x values over here see this right here is an x value of 1 but once I get less than that x value of 1 the graph jumps over to this function okay alright so now let's plot these points so let's plot these two first and not the one where the 1 is not included so let's plot 0 5 so 0 1 2 3 5 okay. uh, negative 1 4 so negative 1 4 okay. 
and then 1 6. So 1 6 would be right here. But remember, that point is not included. So what I do, instead of drawing my point like this, my point is an open circle. And that graph is going to look like that. And once again, I'm not going to continue up because once I get to x values larger than 1, it jumps to this graph. And so that's your graph there. Okay. So the, the, the first example that I did, this point and this point are actually the same. So, so, check, that, so check that out because when I evaluate these two in each function, the y values turn out to be the same. So check that out to see what you do on, on that case. So I hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.